Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. This is my video presentation about the Chapter 7, Theories that was conceived by Heinz Kuhut. As you can see in the slide, this is the content of our video presentation today. Okay, let's proceed to the biographical sketch. Instead of basahon na ako ang iyang text, explain na lang na ako siya diretso para paspas ang atong discussion. So, Heinz Kuhut was an Austrian-American psychoanalyst that best known for his theory called self-psychology. He was born way back 3rd of May year 1981. Iyahang main job jod is being the psychoanalyst pero gisulod sa niya ang psychiatry because he was rejected sa iyahang applyan nga school for a professor for psychoanalysis. But bago siya ni proceed og pagka-psychiatry, Daan na na siya na naging teacher, administrator, a writer in a psychoanalysis. The concept and principle. Let's proceed to the next slide, which is a self-psychology. When we say self-psychology, this theory aims to help patients become self-reliant and able to internalize their self-object. Kumbaga, this is a therapy which centers around empathy growth, and the healthy development of self. Next is the nuclear self. The concept of the nuclear self has the potential to galvanize psychoanalysis to look for the buried essence of structural properties in a pre-programmed design. Here in the nuclear self, it talks about the process of learning kung paano nagsugod ang pagkatuto sa mga bata simula paggamay nila hangtod sa pagdako nila. In other term, or in other word, Kung unsa ang nakasanayan nila sa ilang parents. Like for example, ang isa ka bata is nasanay siya sa ilang family nga dili showy. Like saying I love you or saying I miss you sa ilang parents. Hangtod sa pagdako nila. But with the help of the nuclear self, ibaho na ilang perception. Like, pwede na sila mag-ingon naging huwag ka ng... I love you, I miss you sa ilang parents para man lang ma feel nila na kung unsa ang ingana ang feeling sa pag-show o ganang love si imo. Or mag-iba man lang ang perception ni mo compared sa kung unsa ang nakasanayan ni mo simula pagkabata hangtod sa pagkadako ni mo. Let's proceed to the psychosexual stages. The first stage is the oral stage. Initial psychosexual stage during which the developing infant's main concern are with oral gratification. The oral phase in the normal infant has a direct learning on the infant's activities during the first 18 months of life. Meaning, this stage talks about how a child focus more on oral action. Kung mapansin na to sa isa kabata, baby, kung mak na sila makita ni isa kabagay, Gina, ano na nila, ginakaon na nila more on sucking or something gina, ginagamit nila ilahang ba, ba. So, murag, ingana nga, sa ingana nga stage, murag mo pala na ilahang buot. More on sucking ba sa oral, oral um, actions ang ilang ginabuhat. The right side is the anal stage, is the period of human development occurring at about 1 to 3 years of age. Around this age, the child begins the toilet train which brings about the child fascination in the erogenous zone of the anus. The erogenous zone is focused on the bowel and the bladder control, meaning this is the ages 1 to 3 years old during this stage. The libido changes and the focus on the anus. The child as this, at this age understand that they are, are a person that their wants can create issues on conflict. Mostly in this age, they start ang mga parents na totally train sila na magpamagdala sa pagkahumaling nila. Kailangan sa mga bata malearn kung paano niya i-control ang pangailangan sa iyang lawas like pagtahi or pag-ihi. Or another term, this is between controlling your bladder and bowel. Next is the phallic stage. It's the third stage of psychosexual development spanning the ages of 3 to 6 years, wherein the infant's libido desire centers upon their genitalia as the erogenous zone. Meaning, this is the most commonly focuses in genitals. Children feel a sexual desire for other sex parent, and the child learns to realize the differences between males and females, and of course, to, be, to become aware of, sex, of her or his or her sexuality. 
while the latency stage is a time of exploration in which the sexual energy repressed or dormant, this energy is still present but it is sublimated into other areas such as intellectual pursuit and social interaction. This stage is important in the development of social and communication skills and self-confidence. This stage range age 7 to 11 years old. The child continues his or her development but sexual urges are relatively quiet. This stage tends to socialize with other people and most and mostly they're more interested in schools, they ha their hobbies and making same sex friends. Next slide, the genital stages. Begins with the onset of puberty. During this period, the, pers the person seeks ways of satisfying sexual impulses and dyadic relationship and aggressive impulses through competition, physically demanding activities, exercise, and argumentation. This is the final stage of psychoanalysis development. Learns to deal maturely with opposite sex and or establish mature relationships. That's the genital stage. Let's proceed to the disturbances to the self and typology of narcissistic and behavior disorder. A self-disorder, also called anxiety disturbance, is a psychological phenomenon of disruption or diminishing of a person's sense of minimal or basic self-awareness. Or in other terms, this, this is what we call psychopathology disturbances to the self. There are a variety of um, um, personal disorder or mental disorder. First is the psychosis. It is a mental disorder that can cause abnormal thinking and perception. The symptoms are the hallucination and delusion. Next is the schizophrenia. It is a mental illness that affects how a person thinks, feels, and behaves. Next is the paranoid. It is a mental disorder that unrelenting mistrust and suspicious of others. Next is the narcissistic personality and behavior. This is that thing have an inflated sense of their own importance, mostly they, they need for excessive attention and admiration. Next is the over-stimulated self. Your sense are just completely overloaded with information. And the other narcissism, the mirror hungry, the ideal hungry, alter ego hungry, merger hungry, and the contact Next is the infatty. Infatty is the scientific study of complex mental states, meaning lack, it is the lacking the ability to feel, understand, and resonate with other feelings and categorized by empathy deficiency disorder. This is result this is in result difficulty forming and maintaining relationship for both the individual who lacks empathy and potential friends and loved ones. Next the free association. Kuhut maintained that use of free association by patient fascinated therapists ability to emphasize with their patient's experiences. Meaning, this is the basic process on how to encourage patients to verbalize without censorship or selection. And last is the dream analysis. This is the interpretation of dreams to determine their underlying meaning. Like for example, ang isa ka bata nag, nagpanaginip o ka ng, nag-asa siya bugat, or in reality, it means busy siya, stress siya, or dagan siya gibuhat, and something nga na murag. Ang imuhang dream is murag relate siya sa imong reality nga panggimbuhatod. Pang like, patawag nato siya nga symbolism. Muna siya ang dream analysis. That's all. Thank you. Thank you for listening.